Good morning, Sean. It is Saturday, September 8th, and this is my kitchen. I kind of ran out of places to put my guitar where it was easily accessible, so it gets to be in the kitchen. See, we got a stove, coffee pot, waffle maker, smoothie maker thing, sink. This is my drying rack. Garbage can. Fridge. Magnetic poetry that doesn't really say much right now. Oh, look, there's more guitars hiding in the kitchen. Underneath a sombrero. Plants, one of which is slowly dying because it's really hard to get sunlight down here. This rug is made out of woven plastic bags. And this is a bathroom, yay! There's my toilet, and there's the cat's toilet. Tiny shower! Rubber duckies! And this is what my full bedroom looks like. I got most of these pins at Destination Imagination Global Finals in Knoxville, Tennessee. They're from various states and other countries around the world, and I got them from people who actually came from those places. I don't really have any pictures of people, but I do have a bunch of art. Van Gogh, MC Escher, Dali, Dali, Monet, bunch of glow-in-the-dark space things. Jim Morrison, Dreamcatcher, and two, uh, two, uh, things. Wind chimes? There's no wind in here. Random fuzzy dye. I got this at the Renaissance Festival. I like dragons. I kept this for the dragon. And a piece by me. And this. And so is this. In Guatemala, instead of selling water in bottles, sometimes they sell them in plastic bags. You bite off the corner and suck the water through there. This is a funny napkin. A medallion with the symbol of the Magi from the Mummy. Freedom crackers! I'm pretty sure these are from high school. I just thought they were too funny to not keep. I made this too. On the fridge we have a stretchy universe guy and a drooling TARDIS. This is the shelf where I keep all my vinyl LPs and books. Also cat toys. Five-headed dragon incense burner. Cat treats. Sand from the ocean. Games. And a giant clothespin holding up my glasses. It's a happy giant clothespin. My bed is pretty messy too. Also there's always a cat on it. I barely ever see her leave the bed, but the food and water dishes always get emptied and the litter box always gets filled. She must have some magical powers of laziness that I have yet to attain. I don't have a door to my closet, so I just use this Guatemalan flag held up by two push pins. Inside the closet, yay! His name is Waddles. And this is my parking spot. See this sign? Sometimes people like to ignore it. Seriously, how hard is it to read that sign? The reason my car wasn't in that space was because when I got home from work, there was another car in that space. It's the third time that's happened, and I don't understand why it happens. A, usually you can't just go into a random lot and park there without paying something. And B, there's a sign right there. One time someone parked there overnight. That was when I called the office and they said they would take care of it. They didn't take care of it. The car is gone now and I can't call the office anyway because it's Saturday, but the office never told me what to do if a car was parked there. The sign says violators will be towed at owner's expense, but the office never told me whether I should call the tow truck or whether they should call the tow truck. Obviously, they didn't call the tow truck when I called them, so maybe I should call the tow truck next time. It's people like that that make me want to sit in a basement and talk to a camera all day. About the dates for the videos, I think if you post your videos by Wednesday, then I can post mine by Saturday, like we have the same amount of days there. Otherwise, we could do a Monday-Friday thing, but I don't know if that's too restricting. I hope it continues to go well with your new group of friends. I had a group of friends when I first started here, but by the end of the year, it had either disintegrated or exploded, or maybe both. You think drama stays in high school, but no, it doesn't. Some people will never get out of the high school state, and I think that's really sad, but hey, it keeps the paparazzi employed. This week's Spanish word of the week is video. Can you guess what it means? You're wrong. It means video. I'll say it slower, because I know sometimes people have trouble understanding my English words. Video. It's spelled the exact same as video in English, but the letters do something completely different in Spanish. In Spanish, B and V are both always B. B came from Latin and V came from Greek, and they just sort of never stopped using both letters for the same sound, I guess. Also, a D between two vowels is a TH. It's not a voice TH like V. It's like a D with a TH feel. I'm not really sure how else to explain it. It's just like a really quick, soft TH that almost sounds like a D, but isn't a D. Also, I's in Spanish are pronounced E, and E's in Spanish are pronounced A. O's are just O. Put that all together and you get video. Hope you learned something. See you next time.